And here's where it all goes wrong. Uh, this morning we have some easy and festive cocktails to get you feeling bubbly tonight and some hair of the dog for tomorrow. Here to help us is partner and head mixologist at Pouring Ribbons here in New York, Joaquin Simo and Mamrie Hart, cocktail creator and co-host of the podcast, This Might Get Weird. Might get weird. Okay, yeah, let's do it. Let's get weird. are starting off. <laughs> All right, so let's do it. We're right. starting. So, Joaquin, first we're going to do a festive French 75. Yes. Okay? You walk us through it. How do we do it? Couldn't be simpler. It's okay. a really classic gin sour. Okay. Uh, so we're just going to take a little bit of simple syrup. What's okay. it called again? This is a called French the French 75. Festive French 75. And I like this because you can customize it for all of your guests, right? So some people may like it a little stronger or what exactly. happens. Exactly. Most people syrup. like it a little stronger. <laughs> yeah. it's safe to fair say. enough, fair enough. So what, what we've done like? is we've added uh, simple syrup and we've added fresh lemon juice. Okay. And now classically the debate is, is it cognac or is it gin? What do you As think? usual with, you know, history when it comes to drinks, people are hammered when it happens so no one remembers. Really care. So I like it. I generally drink uh, uh, the brandy in the colder weather months, and I drink gin, say, the spring or summer. Okay. But we're doing gin today. All right. And the easiest thing about this drink is that you can then, if uh, if you have a dusty bottle of a liqueur, you've got your chartreuse, your Campari, uh -huh. St. Germain, something like that. Ooh, I love could, that. Yeah, just like a quarter ounce of it into this same build. Is it time to shake it? And then you're done. Yeah, and then we just have to give Here it a you quick do it. This is your thing. I <laughs> have to shake it. That is a strong Guys, drink. try it. I have to. Very <laughs> strong. Is it yummy? It's refreshing. It's a nice twist on champagne. Good. Which one I is it? I love champagne. All right, Al, you take it away. What this do I get to drink next? This is way great. Less this is classy. great. And, and, and this is great for a party. I mean, a big punch. A lot of folks. The part of drinking is with your eyes. Yeah, so you this go. one's a lot less classy. This one's called the party time punch, mm -hmm. but time like the herb because ah, I love a okay. pun. Right. So what we did is we made a big old bowl uh -huh. of gin yes. and uh, pear juice mm -hmm. and lemon juice. Yes. So then you ladle that into a glass. Right. Put a little thyme on it. Mm -hmm. And then you top, top it, it off. with champagne. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I think it's refreshing. I think it's refreshing. I think it's a blessing. <laughs> oh, I was making it for oh, you. Oh, thank you. Honey. I was going to give you one. I'm a hostess. Hey, what do you guys think? I like Ooh. this. I like this. It's, ref it, it's I like them both as a, as a change up to just straight champagne. Yeah. Okay. Now, if you yeah, okay. if you've had a little too many of these, hair of the dog. Yeah. There oh. we go. So Ooh, this, this is, is key. yes. Talk us through it. So if you're hurting the next morning. This is one of those things where all that shaking that yeah. I was doing before, that rattling sound so close to your head, you want nothing to okay, do with Okay, what do that. we do? So we're building this drink okay. entirely. So we're taking a teeny little bit of the hair of the dog that bit me. And this that's is usually called the mezcal. take two, right? Oh, yeah. oh. It's all the rage now. Absolutely. It's a little smoky, though. A little smoky. It's like tequila's more interesting rustic cousin. <laughs> I like that. So oh, God. Just an ounce Ooh, and a half smell of it, it in there, uh, and that's going to give us this. And then Chinar, <laughs> which is a... Uh, a style of fairly low proof Amaro, so a bittersweet herbal liqueur. Oh, I like that. And so it's going to be vegetal, it's going to be funky, oh, and then like we just hit it with a little tonic water. Is that okay. like in the Campari thing? Is that it? Exactly, but uh, in like Campari, very, very low they proof. They keep sipping. Is that, what do yeah. we, Craig and I are getting sloshed. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a good you're, thing then? If it, no, it's you're probably not. The hair okay. of the dog or the hair of the dog. Uh -huh. right. Thank you, Okay, okay your My turn, pleasure. Al. All right, Mamrie, what are we making? Okay, well, when you wake up hungover, you got to make yourself eat. Okay. You got to get that base coat before. Before you start, ah, you know, okay. taking them back down. Right. So what you do is you make a bowl of your favorite cereal, mm -hmm. and no. you eat said cereal. Like a, a sweetened cereal kind of. Yeah, yes. like a, Lucky like a cinnamon toast crunch, uh -huh. cocoa pebbles. Right. Then you take your leftover milk. Okay. So this is Lucky Charms milk, uh -huh. and you build yourself a white Russian. So you've uh -huh. got a little uh -huh. vodka, yeah. Whoa. a little coffee Whoa. liqueur. Uh -huh. Top it off with your leftover milk because you oh, don't want to waste delicious. anything. Mm -hmm. And then it's like a Saturday morning cartoon cocktail, baby. Wow. Yes. Well, if, you, I like this. if you use Cocoa Krispies, it'd be a black Russian. <laughs> it's a mess. We're going to go with the 2019. <laughs> <laughs> what, what do you think? What, what do you like? Yeah. Oh, and I call this the cereal killer. Oh, the cereal, cereal killer. killer. This is delicious. There guys, you go. Cheers. Happy, Happy New, New Year, everybody. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Thank you, guys. Like For all of these recipes, head to today.com slash food.